Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve issues you have with your home group in Windows 10. Now, in this tutorial, I'm not really going to be going over if you have a setting or whatnot you want to change. This is more along the lines if home group is crashing or experiencing a significant decrease in performance or just generally something out of the normal. So in this tutorial, I'll be walking you guys through how to fix common issues you might have with the home group utility in Windows 10. So pretty straightforward. We're actually going to start by heading over to the start menu and we're going to type in troubleshooting. Should be listed directly above control panel. So you want to proceed to left click on that. So on this new window that appears, left click on the view all selection on the left side. The fourth option down this list should say home group. So what you want to do is double click on it. In this new dialog window, we see that we get a little bit of information about this troubleshooting utility. And this is home group troubleshooter will find and fix problems with viewing computers or shared files in a home group. So we're going to left click on next to proceed with the scan. If you wanted to, you could minimize out of the control panel settings, but we're going to just keep it open, it doesn't really matter. So it actually recommends that we troubleshoot network problems first. So we're actually going to do that. And we're going to just run a Windows Network Diagnostic Scan which is definitely a nice recommendation that they suggest running one scan before the other. So since this scan for the network did not find anything, we're going to close out of this one by left clicking on close the troubleshooter. And we're going to let the home group scan finish. It appears it automatically continues once the network scan is finished. And we see that we actually get a little notification from the utility suggesting that we change our network location to private and I'm not sure if you get this common error. I'm not sure exactly how common it would be to be honest, but it gives us a little suggestion here as to why we should apply this fix. So we're actually going to apply this fix. Um, definitely I would say just reading through it because each individual case might be a little bit different and maybe you didn't want to set your network location to private for some reason because there would be repercussions for that down the road. Whether or not it would actually affect you or not is up to you to decide but we're going to apply this fix. Either we're having problems creating a home group or we're trying to join a home group. You would select which corresponding option reflects what you're looking for right now. So I'm just going to say I'm trying to join a home group. And we see that all home group computers must have the correct time and they should all have synchronized clocks. And at this point you can even go further with it. You can either say that it fixed the problem or this did not fix the problem and then it will give you additional options here and it will actually will recommend that you run the home group troubleshooter on the computer that created the home group. So some of these troubleshooting utilities have quite a bit of information contained within them so I definitely would not put them down too much. I know they seem very automatic and trivial but there are some really nice and helpful tips that can be taken from these so it's definitely not something to be taken for granted but anyway, we're just going to assume that you guys have forked off of this tutorial in a million different directions. So I'm not going to really continue down this one specific path. But I just wanted to give you guys an introduction to the power of this troubleshooting utility. So I hope you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.